Joining me live now from LA by Skype from Los Angeles is singer Nomsebo Zikore. Hello, Nomsebo. It was a big night. Hello, 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 Heather, and hello to the people of Washington. Thank you so much for having me on The Voice of America. It's a great, great honor. How do you feel? How? Honestly speaking, I'm over the moon coming from um, a small uh, a township in Hammersdale. I've never thought that one day I can be here representing my own country, South Africa. Uh, like it's, 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 a, it's something very big for me. That's wonderful. Now, you won the award for the song Bayete. You sing it, but there's also the flutist Wouter Kellerman and Zeke's uh, uh, Bantwini, the DJ and producer. What is the song about? Uh, the song is about um, give praises to God. It's all about that. I was just giving praises to God. Um, I remember Bota has been looking for me. Um, asking people around, where can I get this woman? This woman, I love him oh, so much. I first hear his voice from uh, this biggest song, Jerusalem. I saw at last he then um, met up with Zix Bantwini and then told Zix Bantwini that, Zix, please make it possible for, for me. I want to do a song with this woman. Then, um, yeah, we did, a, we, we did a song together, me, Zix, and Volta. Here we are today. I with the Grammy Award. <laughs> yes, yes. So can you sing a bit of Bawete for us? Bawete, wena we zulu, zunga, zunga ngishi. So I'm saying, God, never leave me. Make sure that you go along with me everywhere. Like I'm giving praises to God. <laughs> It's very beautiful. Now, most people know you uh, around the world. They know you for the song Jerusalem. Um, I can't remember. Did that win a Grammy Award? No, it didn't, my angel. You know, I wrote and sang that biggest song, uh, Jerusalem. It took the world by a storm. Um, like, we were not nominated for this song, or maybe we didn't get um, a, a, the, 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 the Grammy Award with this song. but. Uh, I think God knew that Bayete was coming and made sure that he put me in the right place at the right time. So I'm not complaining. I feel like God's timing is never wrong. Yes, I understand. So what is next for you now? I mean, it must be kind of hard to think about it because you're still in L.A. You just had the Grammys last night. It's early morning for you still. But what are you what what are you going to give now for for the future? What are you going to give us? For the future, it has to be music. My people has be, like they've been on my neck asking for new music. So I'm going to give people new music, beautiful music. Um, my supporters, they, they really can't wait. So all I can say is that people can just check me on social media, uh, on my social media platform to, um, to, 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 uh, to hear when exactly I'm, I'm releasing the new music. Perfect. Now, Perfect. When, when did you start singing? Did you, did you ever imagine that you were going to win a Grammy Award when you started? Honestly, not even. You know, when you think of Grammys, you think of, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm from somewhere in Africa. I Like, who am I to be in LA, to be in a, a place of uh, Beyonce, or you like, you, you think of all these big celebrities, you know? Um, and I've never think, honestly speaking, that one day I'll be here in LA, um, I will win a Grammy. I don't know, maybe I was looking down on myself, but um, I want to say to uh, someone who'll be looking at this interview, my angel, whoever you are at home, never look down on yourself. Doesn't matter whether you're coming from a small township, um, God has a plan for you. So you need to make sure that um, whatever talent that you have, you just need to be focused. Um, anything is possible. It doesn't matter where you come from. 
drugs are killing. So if ever maybe you don't have parents, don't stress too much, too much and end up uh, taking drugs. Or maybe if you are poor, just keep on pushing. For sure, there is something that God gave you, whether a talent or whatsoever that you have. Just make sure that you push it. One day, God will uh, uh, put you in a place that, um, you, like a place that will amaze yourself. Like myself, yes. I'm, 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 I feel like I'm dreaming right now. I've <laughs> never ever thought that I will take a Grammy. Believe me. That's a great message. Best of luck to you. Say hello to everyone there in LA, and uh, I'm sure you're making everyone in South Africa and the whole continent very proud. Can I tell you something? My South African people that are busy calling, they're like, "Hey, come back home. You can't stay there. We want to. We want to uh, celebrate you." So I don't think I'm going to take long because they've been calling. They want to celebrate me. Thank you so much um, to my South African people. But uh, can I tell you something? This is not only for South African people, but for Africa as a whole. I'm here for Africa. I'm representing my country. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm representing Africa. So I'm saying Africa to the world. Nomsebo, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you, so thank much. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So that was our big Grammy winner. Now, Thames from Nigeria also took home a prize. Um, and uh, there were several other African nominees that were there, but we're really excited about the, the winners and uh, Nomsebo and her team. All right, superstar Beyonce also broke the record for the most career Grammy awards, but she lost again in the prestigious album of the year category. This time it was to British singer Harry Styles. Matthew Laboto has the details. Pop superstar Beyonce has made Grammy history after breaking the record for most career wins at music's 65th Grammy Awards on Sunday. The singer of Break My Soul added four Grammys to her collection, bringing her lifetime total to 32, but she lost again in the prestigious Album of the Year category, this time to Harry Styles. The British singer took home that honor for album Harry's House. Grammy voters spread the top awards among several artists. Lizzo's upbeat About Damn Time won Record of the Year, and blues singer Bonnie Raitt's Just Like That about an organ donor won Song of the Year. Actor Viola Davis won a Grammy for her audio recording of her memoir, Finding Me. The win granted her entry into the elite ranks of winners who have an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Award. Sam Smith and Kim Petras also won for Best Pop Duo Group Collaboration for their smash hit, Unholy, making Petras the first transgender woman to win the Grammy Award for a pop duo group performance. Winners were chosen by roughly 11,000 members of the Recording Academy. The group has faced complaints that it has failed to give proper recognition to black artists. It's taken steps in recent years to diversify its membership and overhaul voting procedures. Wow, and that wraps up our special Grammy coverage.